Good morning from the Murrays. We are a little early today, mainly because we want to try a new thing. We're going to try and start a few minutes early to allow the algorithm to catch up so that at actually at 9 o'clock people can find the video. If we start at 9 o'clock it takes a minute or two for people to find us. So we're going to do that differently and look, I'm noticing that I'm almost off the screen. There we go. So with that in mind, good morning, good to be with you. Uh, we have a couple of minutes to burn, so Moses, I have a quality joke for you. Ready? Mm -hmm. How are Winnie the Pooh and Alexander the Great alike? Do you know? No. How are Winnie the Pooh and Alexander the Great alike? They both have the same middle name. <laughs> <laughs> Did you like that dad joke? It's a pretty good dad joke right there. I'm I just got, saying. I got some jokes. You got some joke? All right, give me a joke, Abe. You have to be on screen though. Come over and tell people a joke. Hmm. You're not on screen. Now you're on screen. Why did the chicken cross the playground? I know the answer to this one. To get to the other slide. Yeah, to get to the other slide. But These I was are great to say jokes. To go to the bathroom. That's, that's not it. That is not it. That is not the. That is not the joke. Zero percent it. Zero percent not it. One hundred percent not it. Right? Yeah. All is well in the Murray household. We got classes <laughs> and school, <laughs> and I got work, and we have all kinds of things that are happening. So we are doing well here. Hope y'all are doing well at home also. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see, we got another minute. We'll wait for folks to gather. Um, no new news at the church at this point. We are still closed until May 24th. Then we are working on the next steps. This is one of those things people want us to have a perfect plan, but as we all know, the news changes almost hourly, certainly daily, as to what is good and what is not good, how to process things, how to get things ready. So um, we are working on what it will look like when we come back together, hopefully then on May 31st, but we don't know. We'll see what happens and uh, continue to pray for all of those who are sick, those on the front line, those who are concerned or in harm's way. All right, are you ready? I think, mm -hmm. is it... What time? At 9 o'clock? 9 o'clock. Let's, let's begin then. Yes. Good to be with you, my friends. We'll begin now with morning prayer. It can be found on page 77 of the Book of Common Prayer. Alleluia, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. On this day, the Lord has acted. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim our praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord is risen indeed. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. Good job. We'll now read together Christ, our Passover, which can be found on page 83 of the Book of Common Prayer. Alleluia. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast, not with old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Alleluia. Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death that he died to sin once for all, but the life he lives, he lives to God. So also consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Alleluia. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by a man came death, by a man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so in Christ shall all be made alive. Alleluia. Alleluia. 
The psalm appointed for today is Psalm 37. Uh, oops, that's the wrong stack of papers. It's Psalm, oh, no, it's right here. Okay. Psalm 37, uh, verses 1 through 17. No, 1 through 18. Do not fret yourself because of evildoers. Do not be jealous of those who do wrong. For they shall soon wither like the grass, and like the grass fade away. Put your trust in the Lord, and do good. Dwell in the land, and feed on its riches. Take delight in the Lord, and he shall give you your heart's desire. Commit your way to the Lord, and put your trust in him, and he will bring it to pass. He will make your righteousness as clear as the light, and your just dealing as the noonday. Be still before the Lord, and wait patiently for him. Do not fret yourself over the one who prospers, the one who succeeds in evil schemes. Refrain from anger. Leave rage alone. Do not fret yourself. It leads only to evil. For evildoers shall be cut off, but those who wait upon the Lord shall possess the land. In a little while, the wicked shall be no more. You shall search out their place, but they will not be there. But the lowly shall possess the land. They will delight in abundance of peace. The wicked plot against the righteous and gnash at them with their teeth. The Lord laughs at the wicked. Because he sees that their day will come. The wicked draw their sword and bend their bow. To strike down the poor and needy. To slaughter those who are... Internet problems. We're having some internet problems. Hopefully we are back. Sorry about that. Their sword shall go through their own heart. And their bow shall be broken. The little that the righteous has is better than the great riches of the wicked, for the power of the wicked shall be broken, but the Lord upholds the righteous. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. There you go. It's on Exodus. A reading from the book of Exodus. Then God spoke all these words. I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery. You shall have no other God before me. You shall not make yourself an idol, whether in the form of anything that is in heaven above, or, the, or that is on the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. You shall not bow down to them or worship them, for I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God, punishing children for the iniquity of parents, to the third and the fourth generation of those who reject me, but showing steadfast love to the thousandth generation of those who love me and keep my commandments. You shall not make wrongful use of the name of the Lord your God, for the Lord will not acquit anyone who misses his name. Remember that Sabbath day and keep it holy. For six days you shall labor and do all your work. But on the seventh day is a Sabbath day to the Lord your God. You shall not do any work, you, your son or your daughter, your male or female slave, your livestock, or the alien resident in your town. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that is in them, but rested the seventh day. Therefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and consecrated it. Honor your father and your mother, so that your days may be long in the land, and that the Lord your God is giving to you. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. You shall not covet your neighbor's house. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife, or male or female slave, or ox or donkey, or anything that belongs to your neighbor. When all the people witnessed the thunder and lightning, the sound of the trumpet, and the mountain smoking, they were afraid, and trembled and stood at a distance, and said to Moses, 
You speak to us, and we will listen. But do not let God speak to us, or we will die. Moses said to the people, Do not be afraid, for God has come only to test you, and to put the fear of him upon you, so that you do not sin. Then the people stood, stood at a distance, while Moses drew near to the thick darkness where God was. The word of the Lord. <coughs> Thanks be to God. We'll respond to that reading with a song to the Lamb, saying that together it can be found on page 93 of the Book of Common Prayer. Splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God. For you created everything that is, and by your will they were created and have their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain, for with your blood you have redeemed for God from every family, language, people, and nation, a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so to him who sits upon the throne, and to Christ the Lamb, be worship and praise, dominion and splendor, forever and forevermore. Amen. It's very ceremonial, dropping the paper on the floor. A reading from the book of Matthew. Then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness, to be tempted by the devil. He fasted for forty days and forty nights, and afterwards he was famished. The tempter came and said to him, If you are the Son of God, command these stones to become loaves of bread. But he answered, It is written, One does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him to the holy city and placed him on the pinnacle of the temple, saying to him, if you are the Son of God, throw yourself down, for it is written, He will command the angels concerning you, and on their hands they will bear you up, so that you will not dash your foot against a stone. Jesus said to him, Again it is written, Do not put the Lord your God to test. Again the devil took him to a high, very high mountain, and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their splendor. And he said to them, All these I will give you. If you fall down and worship me, Jesus said to him, Away with you, Satan, for it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve only him. Then the devil left him, and suddenly angels came and waited on him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our next reading, our response to the gospel, will be the Song of the Redeemed, which can be found on page 94 or page 3 of your book. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth, O king of all ages. Who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you. Because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, he was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, 
forever and ever. Amen. You want to leave us suffrages? Sure. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon all earth. Your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. The collect for the day. O God, whose Son, Jesus, is the good shepherd of your people, grant that when we hear his voice, we may know him who calls us each by name and follow where he leads, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns one God forever and ever. Amen. A collect for the renewal of life. O God, the King Eternal, whose light divides the day from the night and turns the shadow of death into the morning. Drive far from us all wrong desires. Incline our hearts to keep your law. And guide our feet into the way of peace. That having done your will with cheerfulness during the day, we may, when night comes, rejoice to give you thanks. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hard wood of the cross that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit, that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you, for the honor of your name. Amen. Amen. A prayer in the time of the coronavirus. For all who have contracted coronavirus, we pray for care and healing. Lord, in your mercy... Hear our prayer. For those, pick that up. For those who are particularly vulnerable, we pray for safety and protection. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. For all who experience fear or anxiety, we pray for peace of mind and spirit. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. For affected families who are facing difficult decisions between food on the table or public safety, we pray for policies that recognize their plight. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who do not have adequate health insurance, we pray that no family will face financial burdens alone. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who are afraid to access care due to immigration status, we pray for recognition of the God-given dignity of all. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For our brothers and sisters around the world, we pray for shared solidarity. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for public officials and decision makers. We pray for wisdom and guidance. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For doctors and nurses, for all those on the front lines practicing your healing arts, we pray that they might be safe and well and might help to make others well. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, during, the time, during this time, may your church be a sign of hope, comfort, and love to all. Grant peace, grant comfort, grant healing. Be with us, Lord. Amen. Amen. We'll say together the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all, for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, 
to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace and believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. It's good to be with you, my friends. I pray you have a good day. Stay safe, stay well, and may God bless you during this season of uncertainty. And again, we hope to see you soon. The church will hopefully open here in about a month, but we'll keep praying that we find the best ways and safest ways for all of us to gather again in God's name. Good to be with you, my friends. Have a great day. Yeah.